Hey folks, I'm going to try a test today. I've been curious to see if I can use these containers with a food saver food vac system. And uh, I want to do this because I want to prepare lunches that I can put in the freezer and, and you know leave them there for several weeks and, and take them out like, like you would a TV dinner, you know, frozen TV thing that you would buy at the grocery store for a lot of money. When I, you know, I get things sometimes and uh, I get a lot of it and I want to be able to use, you know, portion it out like, you know, a big can of beans, a big can of macaroni or a big container of macaroni and cheese. And you'll see here in a little bit, I, I got like this 16 ounce package of barbecue brisket burnt ends. And I want to be able to portion that out to be, in my case, two meals. <laughs> I could probably get three meals out of it, but I'm, I'm, I really like brisket, so I could eat a half a pound of brisket, no problem. So, that being said, I wanted to try using these three compartment containers because this is what I really like using for meal prep, bringing stuff into the office. I like, you know, I'll have like the beans on one side, macaroni and cheese over here, the brisket over here with some, in this case, the burnt ends, I'll put some barbecue sauce in there and then I'll freeze it. And I was looking on YouTube and I found this, this one video by a Donna uh, Cordero. It's called Food Saver Food Prep. I'll put this in the description, you know, the link to this video in the description box below. But this is, is exactly what I've been looking for. Because she takes these uh, individual trays, they don't have the dividers, and you put it through, you know, in, into the Food Saver bag, and then you hold down the seal until you get all of the air starts to compress. Because you don't want to do it all the way, because... I was always afraid that maybe it would just like crush this thing up because it is pretty powerful, but you never know. I don't want to freeze it with this. I mean, this is fine. I don't, I don't even trust this when I'm transporting because it, it does tend to leak. Uh, I would not trust that in the freezer, but I think if this is in a freezer, you know, food saver or freezer bag, it'll protect the food from getting freezer burned and everything. And I like using these a lot. Mainly because they fit perfectly in my electric lunchbox. So I, I take these out of the freezer, pop it in here, take it to work. When I get in, you know, uh, 8.30 in the morning, plug it in, and by noon, lunchtime, it's ready. It's completely heated, completely. I can't ask for a better uh, situation than that. I really like this method because I don't like microwaves. I don't like using the microwave on a lot of things. And I just think this is great because when I'm ready to eat, it's ready. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do two of these. I'm gonna do one that I'm actually gonna eat uh, two days from now on when or three days from now, this is Sunday. So I'm gonna eat this on Wednesday and it's gonna be in the freezer. And then I'm going to take it out of the freezer, take it to work, and eat it on Wednesday. And the other one will stay in the freezer for, I don't know, until I eat it later on. And uh, let's see how this goes. So stay tuned. Okay, I got my two lunch plates all set up. And this is the the beef brisket burnt ends that I picked up at HEB. And I got the uh, free barbecue sauce, so I've added that to the burnt ends. So I've got my macaroni and cheese, my ranch beans, and my burnt ends with barbecue sauce. Now here I've cut a uh, vacuum sealer. This is a generic bag. It's not a food saver because these are actually much cheaper on Amazon. So I cut this a little big because I, I wanted to make sure that I could get it in there. Get it set right into the back. I probably could have trimmed that, but it's just easier. Now this is the model food saver that I have and you put the, the, the vacuum seal bag in like that and then you press on this bar with your fingers and then 
the vacuum vacuuming will start and you want to stop it before it completely vacuums everything out and then you hit the seal button and it will stop vacuuming and it will seal so you can you can tell when it's it's time to press seal because uh, the bag will sink down quite a bit if you went all the way to vacuum seal this it would just crush that plastic container nope this turned out perfect so I just want to date this and then write the contents brisket it and then pop this in the, the freezer until I'm ready to take it take it to lunch Let's see how this works okay that was Sunday this is Wednesday this is Wednesday morning it's time to go to work let's uh, grab our frozen air quotes TV dinner <laughs> zip it up in the uh, electric lunchbox the hot object love this thing and let's go to work okay the left are 830 it works so I'm just gonna plug this in and uh, set it on the counter and uh, come back around noon and have my lunch okay it's a little after 12 12 noon let's see what we got here oh yeah it's nice and hot whoa okay let's get this open and uh eat boy it smells good that, that, that brisket smells great okay how'd the mac and cheese turn out well it turned out great beans yep beans are perfect both nice and hot i really love these ranch beans Okay, this these burnt ends look really good, and that that barbecue sauce smells really good. It's kind of a kind of a sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. So let's snag a couple of them here. Let's let's give it a taste. There we go. It's a nice burnt end. Oh boy, texture and the flavor is really good. I give this 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 is a great test. Thank you much for watching.